Well, folks, this one is interesting. If you can see right near the top left of the central blocking disc of the sun, we have something appearing to change direction. And we have seen this before when a comet goes around the sun and comes back around the other side, but this thing doesn't go around the sun. This thing appears to approach that top left portion and then goes up and away. Now, as I see it, there are uh, three, three possibilities here. And uh, one of them kind of plays into some of the other ones. First thing is, it is possible this thing isn't actually close to the sun. It's that it just whizzed by the satellite and then shot up and it never actually got anywhere near the sun. Uh, that would make a lot more sense size-wise, although it's still very challenging to explain its velocity, still very challenging to explain its change of direction. Obviously, one of the first things that pops into minds uh, is aliens. Is that a UFO? Uh, you might, if you saw the morning news, know that I put that uh, little meme gif of Giorgio Tsoukalos on there where he's like, I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. Um, I have absolutely no way to rule that out. This is quite the peculiar thing we're seeing there, especially with its movement. Uh, but I'd like to offer another potential explanation with the caveat that I don't have any information and frankly, nobody has any information to distinguish or actually make a definitive call on what this is. As the galactic current sheet, is pushing dust and other material in towards the solar system. We should be seeing clumping, aggregation of some of those materials. And what's interesting is at this time of year, if the sun is right in front of us and we're looking at the sun, the galaxy, the center of the galaxy is behind us. So anything coming from there would be coming past Earth first. And if you actually notice, it appears that this object appears bigger little bit bigger and brighter before swinging up and out where it appears uh, somewhat smaller. Since the galactic magnetic reversal has not happened yet and the accumulation at the sun is not happening to the greatest degree yet, the photoluminescence and especially the solar wind outflow should still be able to push things out and away. And if that was a clump of dust neutrals, gases, or whatever coming with the galactic current sheet. This is exactly what it would look like. It would look bigger and then it would look smaller as it went up and away. If that is what it is, we should start to see more and more of these things as time goes on. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next week. But what if this was one of the first of the larger clumps that's actually going to be arriving? And I think that's a really interesting concept. Again, absolutely no way for anyone to distinguish. Uh, if it wasn't something that was just close to the satellite and it was our perspective that made it look like it came close to the sun, um, if it actually did get close to the sun, this was an enormous aggregation. We're talking planet size, not planet density because it would still be loosely tied together, but, um, Absolutely incredible. I have not seen anything like this on Soho Coronagraphs before. I think it's very interesting. And I think at this point, we have no choice but to keep all options open. Maybe it was one of the first aggregated clumps coming with the galactic current sheet. Maybe it was a UFO. And there's really no way for anybody to know. But love to hear your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for tuning in. And I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.